What do you, average person, usually do after a stressful workday? That's right, we pour ourselves a mega pint of booze. Okay, now what if we drank the same thing before work? Boom, you're an alcoholic now. But you can be happy to have something in common with the new furry general that just released. This killer lady is named Fei Zhao, and together with her alcohol and her battle axe, she could almost pass as a dwarf, if she wasn't so mommy-sized. Additionally, now Jing Yuan has not only been DPS power crept by hot women, but also his general position. Patriarchy bitch! So how do you play Gei Zhao? Well, I'm glad you asked. My name is Aloha, and this is my Fei Zhao guide. Fei Zhao is a wind hunt character. Oh yeah, she's serving hunt. Wait, a wind character with a drinking problem. I swear I've heard that somewhere before. Her basic attack, Dante Ripoff hits the enemy with her sword, then shoots them with a gun. Because it's her goddamn right. Her skill, War Axe, doesn't really have a fancy name, it's literally just called War Axe. The skill uppercuts a single enemy with her War Axe, dealing exactly this much damage with her War Axe. But wait, I lied, this skill actually deals more damage because it always triggers her talent's follow-up attack. Her talent launches a follow-up attack when allies attack. Her talent also makes that her ultimate doesn't cost energy, but points instead. The ultimate costs 6 points and she can hold up to 12, storing up to 2 ultimates. Every 2 attacks or follow-up attacks by allies give her 1 point. Her ultimate, not Acheron, follows the rule of anime where less female clothing equals more power. After her clothes disappear, she traps a single enemy in a vortex and gains 100% break efficiency. She then can attack with either her sword or her axe up to 6 times. They both deal the same amount of damage and ignore weakness types. But the sword deals a bit more to weakness broken targets, while the axe deals a little more to not weakness broken targets. So you wanna use the axe first to break and the sword after. Why am I even explaining this? The game even marks what to use in red for the players with brain damage. Also, at the end, she finishes with a Rasengan. Her technique gives her a big boost of move speed while she sucks uh, I mean sucks in nearby enemies. <laughs> Her traces are very simple. More points for ult. Ult counts as follow-up. And skill grants attack. If you don't have an alcohol addiction that takes your money, you can go for her Eidolons. Ult deals way more damage. Ult more often. Any E3. More break efficiency and speed. Any E5. And mommy raid boss. For relics, she yoinks Yan Li's build as she wants this set or alternatively this set. For ornaments, give her this set or this set. For stats, you want a crit body, speed or attack booties, windy balls and attack rope. For substats, give her as much crit, speed and attack as possible. For light cones, her signature is the best, but you can also give her this one, this one or this one. For her team, she performs best in follow-up teams with Topaz, Avagerine and Robin. But you can also play her hyper carry with supports like Bronya, Sparkle and also Robin. Darn you, Star Rail, with these longer and longer ability descriptions, my fastest guides are getting longer too. But I can't just end the video just to shorten the.